Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Welcome back, everyone. We see rain showers once again showing up on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, sounding like a bit of a broken record at this point. Just a fair shot to think that, yeah, there's probably going to be a little rain out there. And that is exactly what's going on down in Martin County. Now, there are several dry areas, especially the farther west you go over in Illinois. But at this point, from Dover Hill to Shoals, Lagodi, and even a little farther off to the south there of the US 50 corridor, some pockets of heavy rain, even some lightning showing up on the radar this morning. Moving through eastern portions, of Green County now again wherever you see the reds and even the oranges showing up on radar that's anywhere from one to two inches of rain falling per hour radar estimated so that is a ton of rain moving off to the east and northeast in fact we'll put this radar into motion you can see its general path here tracking off uh, out of the Wabash Valley especially the farther west you go you notice still pretty dry here in Terre Haute we picked up a significant amount of rain in the past 24 hours most of us exceeding that one inch mark here in Terre Haute, 1.3 inches over the past 24 hours, just around a tenth of an inch up in Paris, over an inch in Mattoon. You can really see the isolated areas that have higher rainfall totals. That is where those thunderstorms moved through yesterday evening. Whenever we have the thunderstorms that move overhead, well, that of course is going to bring in more rain as compared to areas that are not directly impacted by that a very heavy pocket of rain or two. So clouds and radar showing us the general path of these storms that move through during the overnight. They were not severe and that's that's going to be the thing looking ahead while we do keep rain and storm chances in the forecast through a good portion of our week. That severe threat is going to be quite minimal looking ahead, so that's good news. 66 outside of Mattoon now, 65 from Paris to Terre Haute, 66 in Robinson and Vincennes, 68. A check in the bigger picture shows us why we are seeing these systems move through. We have the center of low pressure situated in northern, north central Illinois this morning. It's going to continue to track off to the east, getting in on some wraparound moisture for the rest of our afternoon. So can't completely take rain out for the rest of the day today, although there will also be several dry hours in between. So let's look at this on future cast beginning at seven o'clock this morning. Notice that we keep that chance of a few stray showers around around lunchtime today. Sky stay mainly cloudy. Continuing to our afternoon, still a mostly cloudy sky with that chance of a few stray showers into the five o'clock hour as we head home. But then by tonight, notice that not everyone is going to see the rain into the evening hours tonight. May even be able to get out and do some lawn work should we see uh, things drying up a bit into the evening. Could be good for us, but again, in the meantime, mostly cloudy skies with those isolated shower and storm chances into the afternoon. 72 degrees at noon today, and then up to 77 for your forecast high. We'll pick future cast back up at 8 o'clock this evening. Notice that through the overnight, we keep that mostly cloudy sky, but rain chances are going to be few and far between. We will start our day on Tuesday with mainly dry conditions and then watch this heading into our Tuesday afternoon. Still going to keep that chance of a few scattered showers and storms around a 30% chance and then drying things up a bit heading into our Wednesday. Nonetheless, even putting us into our Wednesday afternoon, we keep that cloud cover around. We'll continue to watch developing systems bring more rain chances in looking ahead. So again, just keep that rain gear handy throughout this week. Again, severe chances going to be minimal. But the rain chances just continue with those below average temperatures. Allergy forecast from Crow Equipment over the next few days here shows us that once again, pollens are going to be down mainly because of all of those rain opportunities in the forecast. We keep moisture in the air and that does keep those pollen counts down. 77 and mostly cloudy for today with those scattered showers and storms. 64 tonight becoming partly cloudy and only a chance of a few stray showers or two. Around a 30% chance of showers and storms into our Tuesday and Wednesday. Day. Notice that temperatures stay below average this week. Yes, we see several opportunities for rain, but average daytime highs should be in the mid to even upper 80s at this point. We top out near that 80 degree mark through the week.